In mathematics, a function was originally the idealization of how a varying quantity depends on another quantity. For example, the position of a planet is a function of time. Historically, the concept was elaborated with the infinitesimal calculus at the end of the 17th century, and, until the 19th century, the functions that were considered were differentiable that is, they had a high degree of regularity. The concept of function was formalized at the end of the 19th century in terms of set theory, and this greatly enlarged the domains of application of the concept. A function is a process or a relation that associates each element x of a set x, the domain of the function, to a single element y of another set y possibly the same set, the codomain of the function. If the function is called f, this relation is denoted y equals f x read f of x, the element x is the argument or input of the function, and y is the value of the function, the output, or the image of x by f. The symbol that is used for representing the input is the variable of the function one often says that f is a function of the variable x. A function is uniquely represented by its graph which is the set of all pairs x, f, x. When the domain and the codomain are sets of numbers, each such pair may be considered as the Cartesian coordinates of a point in the plane. In general, these points form a curve, which is also called the graph of the function. This is a useful representation of the function, which is commonly used everywhere. For example, graphs of functions are commonly used in newspapers for representing the evolution of price indexes and stock market indexes. Functions are widely used in science, and in most fields of mathematics. Their role is so important that it has been said that they are the central objects of investigation in most fields of mathematics. Definition Intuitively, a function is a process that associates to each element of a set X a unique element of a set Y, Formally, a function f from a set x to a set y is defined by a set G of ordered pairs x, y, such that x element of x, y element of y, and every element of x is the first component of exactly one ordered pair in G. In other words, for every x in x, there is exactly one element y such that the ordered pair x, y belongs to the set of pairs defining the function f. The set G is called the graph of the function. Formally speaking, it may be identified with the function, but this hides the usual interpretation of a function as a process. Therefore, in common usage, the function is generally distinguished from its graph. Functions are also called maps or mappings. However, some authors reserve the word mapping to the case where the codomain y belongs explicitly to the definition of the function. In this sense, the graph of the mapping recovers the function as the set of pairs. In the definition of function, x and y are respectively called the domain and the codomain of the function f. If x, y belongs to the set defining f, then y is the image of x under f, or the value of f applied to the argument x. Especially in the context of numbers, one says also that y is the value of f for the value x of its variable, or, still shorter, y is the value of f of x, denoted as y equals f x. The domain and codomain are not always explicitly given when a function is defined, and, without some possibly difficult computation, one knows only that the domain is contained in a larger set. Typically, this occurs in mathematical analysis, where a function from x to y often refers to a function that may have a proper subset of x as domain. For example, a function from the reals to the reals may refer to a real valued function of a real variable and this phrase does not mean that the domain of the function is the whole set of the real numbers but only that the domain is a set of real numbers that contains a non-empty open interval 
For example, if f is a function that has the real numbers as domain and codomain, then a function mapping the value x to the value g x equals 1 f x display style g x equals tfrac 1 f x is a function g from the reals to the reals whose domain is the set of the reals x such that f x does not equal 0 in many cases the exact domains are difficult to determine but this is rarely a problem for working with such functions the range of a function is the set of the images of all elements in the domain. However, range is sometimes used as a synonym of codomain, generally in old textbooks. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Relational approach. Any subset of the Cartesian product of a domain x display style x and a codomain y display style y is said to define a binary relation r x times y display style r subset x times y between these two sets it is immediate that an arbitrary relation may contain pairs that violate the necessary conditions for a function, given above. A univalent relation is a relation such that x y element of r x z element of r y equals Z display style x y in R land x z in R quad right arrow quad y equals z. Univalent relations may be identified to functions whose domain is a subset of x. A left total relation is a relation such that x element of x y element of y x y element of r display style for x in x exists y in y colon x y in r formal functions may be strictly identified to relations that are both univalent and left total Violating the left totality is similar to giving a convenient encompassing set instead of the true domain, as explained above. Various properties of functions and function composition may be reformulated in the language of relations. For example, a function is injective if the converse relation R T Y times x display style r caret text t subset x y times x is univalent where the converse relation is defined as r t equals y x x y element of r Display style r caret text t equals y x sad face x y in r. Topic notation. There are various standard ways for denoting functions. The most commonly used notation is functional notation, which defines the function using an equation that gives the names of the function and the argument explicitly. This gives rise to a subtle point, often glossed over in elementary treatments of functions. Functions are distinct from their values. Thus, a function f should be distinguished from its value f x0 at the value x0 in its domain. 
to some extent, even working mathematicians will conflate the two in informal settings for convenience, and to avoid the use of pedantic language. However, strictly speaking, it is an abuse of notation to write let f r r display style f colon math b r to math b r be the function f x equals x two. Since f x and x two should both be understood as the value of f at x rather than the function itself. Instead, it is correct, though pedantic, to write let f r r display style f colon math b r to math b r be the function defined by the equation f x equals x two valid for all real values of x. This distinction in language and notation becomes important in cases where functions themselves serve as inputs for other functions. A function taking another function as an input is termed a functional. Other approaches to denoting functions, detailed below, avoid this problem but are less commonly used. Topic: <laughs> Functional notation. As first used by Leonard Euler in 1734, functions are denoted by a symbol consisting generally of a single letter in italic font, most often the lower case letters f, g, h. Some widely used functions are represented by a symbol consisting of several letters, usually two or three, generally an abbreviation of their name. By convention, in this case, a Roman type is used, such as sin for the sine function, in contrast to italic font for single letter symbols. The notation read y equals f of x y equals f x display style y equals f x means that the pair x y belongs to the set of pairs defining the function f. If x is the domain of f, the set of pairs defining the function is thus, using set builder notation x f x x element of x display style x f x x in x Often, a definition of the function is given by what f does to the explicit argument x. For example, a function f can be defined by the equation f x equals sin x 2 plus 1 display style f x equals sin x caret 2 plus 1 for all real numbers x. In this example, f can be thought of as the composite of several simpler functions, squaring, adding 1, and taking the sign. However, only the sign function has a common explicit symbol sin, while the combination of squaring and then adding 1 is described by the polynomial expression x 2 plus 1 display style x caret 2 plus 1 in order to explicitly reference functions such as squaring or adding 1 without introducing new function names e.g. by defining function g and h by g x equals x 2 display style g x equals x caret 2 and h x equals x plus 1 display style h x equals x plus 1 one of the methods below arrow notation or dot notation could be used 
Sometimes the parentheses of functional notation are omitted when the symbol denoting the function consists of several characters and no ambiguity may arise. For example, sin x display style sin x can be written instead of sin x display style sin x topic arrow notation For explicitly expressing domain x and the codomain y of a function f, the arrow notation is often used read, the function f from x to y, or the function f mapping elements of x to elements of y. f x y display style f colon x to y or x f y display style x tilde stackrel f to tilde y this is often used in relation with the arrow notation for elements read f maps x to f x often stacked immediately below the arrow notation giving the function symbol domain and codomain x f x Display style x maps to f x. For example, if a multiplication is defined on a set x, then the square function sqr display style operator name sqr on x is unambiguously defined by red. The function sqr display style operator name sqr from x to x that maps x to x x sqr x x x x x display style begin aligned operator name sqr colon x and to x x and maps Sto x c d o t x end aligned the latter line being more commonly written x x two display style x maps to x caret two often the expression giving the function symbol domain and codomain is omitted. Thus, the arrow notation is useful for avoiding introducing a symbol for a function that is defined, as it is often the case, by a formula expressing the value of the function in terms of its argument. As a common application of the arrow notation, suppose f x times x y x t f x t display style f colon x times x to y x t maps to f x t is a two argument function, and we want to refer to a partially applied function x y display style x to y produced by fixing the second argument to the value t zero without introducing a new function name. The map in question could be denoted x f x t zero display style x maps to f x t underscore zero using the arrow notation for elements. Note that the expression x f x T zero display style x maps to f x t underscore zero red the map taking x to f x t zero display style f x t underscore zero represents this new function with just one argument, whereas the expression f x 0 t 0 display style f x underscore 0 t underscore 0 refers to the value of the function f at the point x 0 t 0 Display style x underscore zero t underscore zero. Topic index notation. Index notation is often used instead of functional notation. 
That is, instead of writing f x, one writes f x display style f underscore x. This is typically the case for functions whose domain is the set of the natural numbers. Such a function is called a sequence, and in this case, the element f n display style f underscore n is called the nth element of sequence. The index notation is also often used for distinguishing some variables called parameters from the true variables. In fact, parameters are specific variables that are considered as being fixed during the study of a problem. For example, the map x f x t display style x maps to f x t c above would be denoted f t display style f underscore t using index notation if we define the collection of maps f t display style f underscore t by the formula f T x equals f x t display style f underscore t x equals f x t for all x t element of x display style x t in x Topic. Dot notation In the notation x f x displaystyle x maps to f x The symbol x does not represent any value, it is simply a placeholder meaning that, if x is replaced by any value on the left of the arrow, it should be replaced by the same value on the right of the arrow. Therefore, x may be replaced by any symbol, often an interpunct. This may be useful for distinguishing the function f from its value f x at x. For example, a 2 display style c d o t caret 2 may stand for the function x a x Two display style x maps to x caret two and a f u d u display style text style int underscore a caret c d o t f u do may stand for a function defined by an integral with variable upper bound x a x f u d u display style text style x maps to int underscore a caret x f u do topic specialized notations There are other, specialized notations for functions in sub-disciplines of mathematics. For example, in linear algebra and functional analysis, linear forms and the vectors they act upon are denoted using a dual pair to show the underlying duality. This is similar to the use of bracket notation in quantum mechanics. In logic and the theory of computation, the function notation of lambda calculus is used to explicitly express the basic notions of function abstraction and application. In category theory and homological algebra, networks of functions are described in terms of how they and their compositions commute with each other using commutative diagrams that extend and generalize the arrow notation for functions described above.
Topic: Specifying a function. According to the definition, a function is defined by associating each element of its domain with a corresponding element of its codomain. When the domain and the codomain are sets of numbers, this association may take the form of a computation taking as input any element of the domain and producing an output in the codomain. This computation may be described by a formula. This is the starting point of algebra, where many similar numerical computations can be replaced by a single formula that describes these computations by means of variables that represent computation inputs as unspecified numbers. This type of specification of a function frequently uses previously defined auxiliary functions. For example, the function f from the reals to the reals, defined by the formula f x equals 1 plus x 2 display style f x equals sqrt 1 plus x caret 2 employs as auxiliary functions the square function mapping all the reals to the non-negative reals the square root function mapping the non-negative reals to the non-negative reals and the addition of real numbers the whole set of real numbers may be taken as the domain of f even though the domain of the square root function is restricted to the non-negative real numbers the image of f consists of the reals that are not less than 1 a computation that defines a function may often be described by an algorithm, and any kind of algorithm may be used. Sometimes, the definition of a function may involve elements or properties that can be defined, but not computed. For example, if one considers the set p p of the programs in a given programming language that take an integer as input. The terminating function is the function that returns 1 if a program of p runs forever when executed on a given integer input, and returns 0 otherwise. It is a basic theorem of computability theory that there does not exist an algorithm for computing this function. More generally, computability theory is the study of computable functions, that is, the functions that can be computed by an algorithm. The above ways of defining functions define them pointwise, that is, each value is defined independently of the other values. This is not necessarily the case. When the domain of a function is the set of non-negative integers or, more generally, when the domain is a well-ordered set, a function may be defined by induction or recursion, meaning roughly that the calculation of the value of the function for some given input requires values of the function for lesser inputs. For example, the Fibonacci sequence is a function from the natural numbers into themselves that is defined by two starting values and a formula, recurring to the two immediately preceding arguments see above for the use of indices for the argument of a function f 0 equals 0 f 1 equals 1 and f n equals f n minus 1 plus f n minus 2 for n greater than 1 display style f underscore 0 equals 0 quad f underscore 1 equals 1 quad text and quad f underscore n equals f underscore n 1 plus f underscore n 2 quad text for n greater than 1 in calculus the usual functions considered have extensive regularities 
That is, the value of the function at a point is related to the values of the function at neighboring points. This allows defining them by functional equations for example, the gamma function is the unique meromorphic function such that gamma 1 equals 1 display style gamma 1 equals 1 and gamma z plus 1 equals z gamma z display style gamma z plus 1 equals z gamma z for any complex Z that is not a non-positive integer, by differential equations for example, the natural logarithm is the solution of the differential equation d ln x d x equals 1 x Display style frac d lane x dx equals frac one x such that lane one equals zero by integral equations or by analytic continuation equals topic representing a function equals a graph is commonly used to give an intuitive picture of a function. As an example of how a graph helps understand a function, it is easy to see from its graph whether a function is increasing or decreasing. Some functions may also be represented by bar charts. Graphs and plots equals given a function f x y display style f colon x to y its graph is formally the set g equals x f x x element of x display style g equals x f x x in x in the frequent case where x and y are subsets of the real numbers or may be identified with such subsets e.g. intervals an element x y element of g display style x y in g may be identified with a point having coordinates x, y in a two-dimensional coordinate system, e.g. the Cartesian plane. Parts of this may create a plot that represents parts of the function. The use of plots is so ubiquitous that they too are called the graph of the function. Graphic representations of functions are also possible in other coordinate systems. For example, the graph of the square function x x 2 display style x mapsto x caret 2 consisting of all points with coordinates x x 2 display style x x caret 2 for x element of r Display style x in math b r yields, when depicted in Cartesian coordinates, the well-known parabola. If the same quadratic function x x two display style x mapsto x caret two with the same formal graph consisting of pairs of numbers is plotted instead in polar coordinates. R theta equals x x two 
display style r theta equals x x caret 2 the plot obtained is fermat's spiral topic tables a function can be represented as a table of values if the domain of a function is finite, then the function can be completely specified in this way. For example, the multiplication function f 1 5 2 r display style f colon 1 l dots 5 caret 2 2 math b r defined as f x y equals x y display style f x y equals x y can be represented by the familiar multiplication table on the other hand if a function's domain is continuous a table can give the values of the function at specific values of the domain if an intermediate value is needed, interpolation can be used to estimate the value of the function. For example, a portion of a table for the sine function might be given as follows, with values rounded to six decimal places. Before the advent of handheld calculators and personal computers, such tables were often compiled and published for functions such as logarithms and trigonometric functions. Topic. Bar chart Bar charts are often used for representing functions whose domain is a finite set, the natural numbers, or the integers. In this case, an element x of the domain is represented by an interval of the x-axis, and the corresponding value of the function, f x, is represented by a rectangle whose base is the interval corresponding to x and whose height is f x, possibly negative, in which case the bar extends below the x-axis. General properties. This section describes general properties of functions, that are independent of specific properties of the domain and the codomain. Canonical functions Some functions are uniquely defined by the domain and codomain, and are sometimes called canonical. For every set x, there is a unique function, called the empty function from the empty set to x. This function is not interesting by itself, but useful for simplifying statements, similarly as the empty sum equal to zero and the empty product equal to one. For every set x and every singleton set s, there is a unique function, called the canonical surjection, from x to s, which maps to s every element of x. This is a surjection see below, except if x is the empty set. Given a function f x y display style f colon x to y the canonical surjection of f onto its image f x equals f x x element of x display style f x equals f x mid x in x is the function from x to f x that maps x to f x for every subset x of a set y, the canonical injection of x into y is the injective see below function that maps every element of x to itself. The identity function of x, often denoted by id x display style operator name id underscore x is the canonical injection of x into itself. Topic. 
Equality of functions Two functions f and g are equal if their domain sets are the same and their output values agree on the whole domain. Formally, f equals g if and only if they have the same domain x and for all x element of x the equality f x equals g x is satisfied. When functions are viewed as maps, this is when the study requires distinguishing their co-domain, then for the equality of functions it is required in addition the equality of their co-domains. For example, the functions f g R R display style f g math b r to math b r and h r minus one one display style h math b r to minus one one defined as f x equals sin 2 x display style fx equals sin caret 2 x g x equals 1 minus cos 2 x Display style g x equals one cos caret two x and h x equals sin two x display style h x equals sin caret two x respectively satisfy that f equals G equals H display style F equals G equals H however when viewed as maps then F equals G display style F equals G but H display style H is considered a different function. Topic: Function composition. Given two functions f x y display style f colon x to y and g y Z display style g colon y to z such that the domain of g is the codomain of f. The composition is the function g f x z display style g circ f colon x right arrow z defined by g f x equals g f x display style g circ f x equals g f x that is the value of g f display style g circ f is obtained by first applying f to x to obtain y equals f x and then applying g to the result y to obtain g y equals g f x. In the notation the function that is applied first is always written on the right. The composition g f is an operation on functions that is defined only if the codomain of the first function is the domain of the second one. Even when both g f and f g 
satisfy these conditions, the composition is not necessarily commutative, that is, the functions g f display style g circ f and f g display style f circ g need not be equal but may deliver different values for the same argument for example let f x topic x2 and g x x plus 1 then g f x equals x 2 plus 1 display style g f x equals x caret 2 plus 1 and f g x equals x plus 1 2 display style f g x equals x plus 1 caret 2 agree just for x equals 0 display style x equals 0 the function composition is associative in the sense that if one of h g f display style h circ g circ f and h g f display style h circ g circ f is defined, then the other is also defined, and they are equal. Thus, one writes H G F equals H G F equals H G F Display style H circ G circ F equals H circ G circ F equals H circ G circ F. The identity functions id x display style operator name id underscore x and id y display style operator name id underscore y are respectively a right identity and a left identity for functions from x to y that is, if f is a function with domain x, and codomain y, one has f id x equals id y f equals f Display style f circ operator name id underscore x equals operator name id underscore y circ f equals f. Topic image and preimage. Let f x y display style f colon x to y the image by f of an element x of the domain x is f x if a is any subset of x then the image of a by f denoted f a is the subset of the codomain y consisting of all images of elements of a that is f a equals f x x element of display style f a equals f x mid x in a the image of f is the image of the whole domain that is f x 
It is also called the range of f, although the term may also refer to the codomain. On the other hand, the inverse image, or preimage by f of a subset B of the codomain Y is the subset of the domain X consisting of all elements of X whose images belong to B. It is denoted by f minus 1 B displaystyle f caret minus 1 B that is f minus 1 b equals x element of x f x element of b Display style f caret minus one b equals x in x mid f x in b. For example, the preimage of four nine under the square function is the set minus three minus two two three. By definition of a function, the image of an element x of the domain is always a single element of the codomain. However, the preimage of a single element y denoted f minus 1 x display style f caret minus 1 x may be empty or contain any number of elements for example if f is the function from the integers to themselves that map every integer to 0 then f minus 1 0 equals z if f X Y display style f colon x to y is a function a and b are subsets of x and c and d are subsets of y. Then one has the following properties: b f a f b Display style a subset ek b long right arrow f a subset ek f b c d f minus one c f minus one d Display style C subset ek D long right arrow F carrot minus one C subset ek F carrot minus one D A F minus one F A Display style A subset ek F carrot minus one F A C F F Minus one C Display style C subsetec F F carrot minus one C F F minus one F A equals F A Display style F F carrot minus one F A equals F A F minus one F F minus one C equals F minus one C Display style f carrot minus one f f carrot minus one c equals f carrot minus one c. The preimage by f of an element y of the codomain is sometimes called, in some contexts, the fiber of y under f. If a function f has an inverse, see below. This inverse is denoted f minus one. Display style f caret minus one. In this case, f minus one c. Display style f caret minus one c. 
may denote either the image by f minus 1 display style f caret minus 1 or the preimage by f of c this is not a problem as these sets are equal the notation f a display style f a and f minus 1 c display style f caret minus 1 c may be ambiguous in the case of sets that contain some subsets as elements such as x x display style x x in this case some care may be needed for example by using square brackets f a f minus 1 c display style f a f caret minus 1 c for images and preimages of subsets and ordinary parentheses for images and preimages of elements topic injective surjective and bijective functions let f x y display style f colon x to y be a function the function f is injective or one to one or is an injection if f a does not equal f b for any two different elements are and b of x equivalently f is injective if for any y element of y display style y in y the preimage f minus 1 y display style f caret minus 1 y contains at most one element an empty function is always injective if x is not the empty set, and if, as usual, the axiom of choice is assumed, then f is injective if and only if there exists a function g y x display style g colon y to x such that g f equals it x Display style G circ F equals operator name id underscore x. That is, if F has a left inverse. The axiom of choice is needed, because, if F is injective, one defines G by G Y equals x. Display style G Y equals x. If y equals f x display style y equals f x and by g y equals x 0 display style g y equals x underscore 0 if y f x display style y not in f x where x 0 display style x underscore 0 is an arbitrarily chosen element of x the function f is surjective or onto or is a surjection if the range equals the codomain that is if f x equals y in other words the preimage f minus 1 y display style f caret minus 1 y of every y element of y display style y in y is non empty 
If, as usual, the axiom of choice is assumed, then f is surjective if and only if there exists a function g y x display style g colon y to x such that f g equals id y Display style f circ g equals operator name id underscore y. That is, if f has a right inverse, the axiom of choice is needed because if f is injective, one defines g by g y equals x. Display style g y equals x, where X display style X is an arbitrarily chosen element of F minus one Y display style F caret minus one Y. The function F is bijective or is bijection or a one-to-one -one correspondence if it is both injective and surjective. That is f is bijective if for any y element of y display style y in y the preimage f minus 1 y display style f caret minus 1 y contains exactly one element the function f is bijective if and only if it admits an inverse function, that is a function g y x g colon y to x such that g f equals it x Display style g circ f equals operator name id underscore x and f g equals id y display style f circ g equals operator name id underscore y. Contrarily to the case of injections and surjections, this does not require the axiom of choice. Every function f x y display style f colon x to y may be factorized as the composition I s of a surjection followed by an injection, where s is the canonical surjection of x onto f x, and i is the canonical injection of f x into y. This is the canonical factorization of f. One to one, and onto, are terms that were more common in the older English language literature. Injective, surjective, and bijective were originally coined as French words in the second quarter of the 20th century by the Bourbaki group and imported into English. As a word of caution, a one to one function is one that is injective, while a one-to-one -one correspondence refers to a bijective function. Also, the statement f maps x onto y differs from f maps x into b in that the former implies that f is surjective, while the latter makes no assertion about the nature of f the mapping. In a complicated reasoning, the one-letter difference can easily be missed. Due to the confusing nature of this older terminology, these terms have declined in popularity relative to the Borbachian terms, which have also the advantage to be more symmetrical. <laughs> Restriction and extension If f x y Display style f colon x to y 
is a function, and s is a subset of x, then the restriction of f to s, denoted f, s, is the function from s to y that is defined by f s x equals f x for all x element of s display style f underscore s x equals f x quad text for all x in s this often used for define partial inverse functions if there is a subset s of a function f such that f s is injective then the canonical surjection of f s on its image f sulfur monosulfide equals f s is a bijection which has an inverse function from f s to s this is in this way that inverse trigonometric functions are defined the cosine function, for example, is injective when restricted to the interval minus zero pi. The image of this restriction is the interval minus one one. This defines thus an inverse function from minus one one to minus zero pi, which is called r cosine and denoted r cos. Function restriction may also be used for gluing functions together. Let x equals I element of I U I display style text style X equals big cup underscore I in I U underscore I be the decomposition of X as a union of subsets suppose that a function F I U I Y display style f underscore i colon u underscore i to y is defined on each u i display style u underscore i such that for each pair of indices the restrictions of f i display style f underscore i and f j display style f underscore j to u i u j display style u underscore i cap u underscore j are equal. Then this defines a unique function f x y display style f colon x to y such that f u i equals f i display style f underscore u underscore i equals f underscore i for every i this is generally in this way that functions on manifolds are defined. An extension of a function f is a function g such that f is a restriction of g. A typical use of this concept is the process of analytic continuation, that allows extending functions whose domain is a small part of the complex plane to functions whose domain is almost the whole complex plane. Here is another classical example of a function extension that is encountered when studying homographies of the real line. An homography is a function h x equals a x plus b c x plus d Display style h x equals frac x plus b c x plus d, such that add b c does not equal zero. Its domain is the set of all real numbers different from minus d c. Display style d c, and its image is the set of all real numbers different from a. C 
display style a c if one extends the real line to the projectively extended real line by adding infinity to the real numbers, one may extend h for being a bijection of the extended real line to itself, by setting h infinity equals a c display style h inf t equals a c and H minus D C equals infinity display style H D C equals inf T topic multivariate function A multivariate function, or function of several variables is a function that depends on several arguments. Such functions are commonly encountered. For example, the position of a car on a road is a function of the time and its speed. More formally, a function of n variables is a function whose domain is a set of n tuples. For example, multiplication of integers is a function of two variables, or bivariate function, whose domain is the set of all pairs two tuples of integers, and whose codomain is the set of integers. The same is true for every binary operation. More generally, every mathematical operation is defined as a multivariate function. The Cartesian product x 1 times times x n display style x underscore 1 times c d o t s times x underscore n of n sets x 1 x n display style x underscore 1 l dots x underscore n is the set of all n tuples x 1 x n display style x underscore 1 l dots x underscore n such that x i element of x i Display style x underscore i in x underscore i for every i with one i n display style one l e q i l e q n. Therefore, a function of n variables is a function f u y display style f colon u to y where the domain u has the form u x 1 times times x n display style u subset x underscore 1 times c d o t s times x underscore n when using function notation, one usually omits the parentheses surrounding tuples, writing f x 1 x 2 display style f x underscore 1 x underscore 2 instead of f x 1 x 2 display style f x underscore 1 x underscore 2 in the case where all the x i display style x underscore i are equal to the set r display style math b r of real numbers one has a function of several real variables if the x i display style x underscore i are equal to the set 
C display style math b C of complex numbers one has a function of several complex variables it is common to also consider functions whose codomain is a product of sets for example, Euclidean division maps every pair a, b of integers with b does not equal zero to a pair of integers called the quotient and the remainder, Euclidean division, z times z 0 z times z a, b quotient a, b remainder a, b display style begin aligned text Euclidean division colon quad math b z times math b z set minus 0 and 2 Math b z times math b z a b and mapsto operator name quotient a b operator name remainder a b end aligned. The codomain may also be a vector space. In this case, one talks of a vector-valued function. If the domain is contained in a Euclidean space, or more generally a manifold, a vector-valued function is often called a vector field. topic in calculus the idea of function starting in the 17th century was fundamental to the new infinitesimal calculus see history of the function concept at that time only real valued functions of a real variable were considered and all functions were assumed to be smooth but the definition was soon extended to functions of several variables and to function of a complex variable. In the second half of 19th century, the mathematically rigorous definition of a function was introduced, and functions with arbitrary domains and codomains were defined. Functions are now used throughout all areas of mathematics. In introductory calculus, when the word function is used without qualification, it means a real-valued function of a single real variable. The more general definition of a function is usually introduced to second or third year college students with STEM majors, and in the senior year they are introduced to calculus in a larger, more rigorous setting in courses such as real analysis and complex analysis. Topic real function A real function is a real valued function of a real variable, that is, a function whose codomain is the field of real numbers and whose domain is a set of real numbers that contains an interval. In this section, these functions are simply called functions. The functions that are most commonly considered in mathematics and its applications have some regularity, that is, they are continuous, differentiable, and even analytic. This regularity ensures that these functions can be visualized by their graphs. In this section, all functions are differentiable in some interval. Functions enjoy pointwise operations, that is, if f and g are functions, their sum, difference and product are functions defined by f plus g x equals f x plus g x f minus g x equals f x minus g x f g x equals f x g x display style begin aligned f plus g x and equals f x plus g x f g x and equals f x g x f c d o t g x and equals f x c d o t g x end aligned. The domains of the resulting functions are the intersection of the domains of f and g. The quotient of two functions is defined similarly by f g x equals f x g x display style frac f g x equals frac f x g x but the domain of the resulting function is obtained by removing the zeros of g from the intersection of the domains of f and g the polynomial functions are defined by polynomials and the domain is the whole set of real numbers they include constant functions, linear functions and quadratic functions. 
Rational functions are quotients of two polynomial functions, and their domain is the real numbers with a finite number of them removed to avoid division by zero. The simplest rational function is the function x 1 x display style x mapsto frac 1 x whose graph is an hyperbola and whose domain is the whole real line except for zero the derivative of a real differentiable function is a real function an antiderivative of a continuous real function is a real function that is differentiable in any open interval in which the original function is continuous for example the function x 1 x display style x mapsto frac 1 x is continuous and even differentiable on the positive real numbers thus one antiderivative which takes the value 0 for x equals 1 is a differentiable function called the natural logarithm a real function f is monotonic in an interval if the sign of f x minus f y x minus y display style frac f x f y x y does not depend of the choice of x and y in the interval if the function is differentiable in the interval, it is monotonic if the sign of the derivative is constant in the interval. If a real function f is monotonic in an interval i, it has an inverse function, which is a real function with domain f i and image i. This is how inverse trigonometric functions are defined in terms of trigonometric functions, where the trigonometric functions are monotonic. Another example, the natural logarithm is monotonic on the positive real numbers, and its image is the whole real line, therefore it has an inverse function that is a bijection between the real numbers and the positive real numbers. This inverse is the exponential function. Many other real functions are defined either by the implicit function theorem the inverse function is a particular instance or as solutions of differential equations. For example the sine and the cosine functions are the solutions of the linear differential equation y plus y equals 0 display style y plus y equals 0 such that sin 0 equals 0 cos 0 equals 1 sin x x 0 equals 1 cos x x 0 equals 0 Display style sin zero equals zero quad cos zero equals one quad frac partial sin x partial x zero equals one quad frac partial cos x partial x zero equals zero. Topic complex function. When working with complex numbers different types of functions are used Complex valued functions, functions that return complex values f x c display style f colon x to math b c 4 x display style x an arbitrary set, or perhaps a subset of the real numbers, or a function for which both domain and range are subsets of the complex numbers f c c display style f colon math b c to math b c 
complex variable functions that return, say real numbers or other values f c x display style f colon math b c to x the study of complex functions is a vast subject in mathematics with many applications and that can claim to be an ancestor to many other areas of mathematics like homotopy theory and manifolds topic Function of several real or complex variables Functions of several real or complex variables are functions which domain consists of tuples of real or complex numbers. This is, the domain is a subset of R N R N or C N display style math b C caret N. For example, the division operation is a function that inputs a pair of real or complex numbers, one to be the dividend and the other the divisor, and returns their quotient A B A B display style A B mapsto A B. In the case of functions of several variables, the functional notation can be used in two ways. The symbol f x display style f x could denote a function of several variables if x display style x is assumed to be denoting tuples of real or complex numbers x equals x 1 x 2 x n display style x equals x underscore 1 x underscore 2 l dots x underscore n Alternatively, the components of the tuple can be made explicit in the notation when this is written as f x 1 x 2 x n display style f x underscore 1 x underscore 2 l dots x underscore n the repeated parentheses f x 1 x 2 x n display style f x underscore 1 x underscore 2 l dots x underscore n that would result from syntactically replacing x display style x by x 1 x 2 X N display style x underscore one x underscore two L dots x underscore N in the symbol F X display style F X are generally avoided in mathematics. Topic Vector valued function When the elements of the co domain of a function are vectors, the function is said to be a vector valued function. These functions are particularly useful in applications, for example, modeling physical properties. The function that associates to each point of a fluid its velocity vector is a vector valued function. Some vector valued function are defined on a subset of R N display style math b R caret N or other spaces that share geometric or topological properties similar to R N display style math b R caret N 
like manifolds. These vector-valued functions are given the name vector fields. Topic: <laughs> Function space. In mathematical analysis, and more specifically in functional analysis, a function space is a set of scalar-valued or vector-valued functions, which share a specific property and form a topological vector space. For example, the real smooth functions with a compact support that is, they are zero outside some compact set form a function space that is at the basis of the theory of distributions. Function spaces play a fundamental role in advanced mathematical analysis, by allowing the use of their algebraic and topological properties for studying properties of functions. For example, all theorems of existence and uniqueness of solutions of ordinary or partial differential equations result of the study of function spaces. Generalizations Topic natural extension It is rather frequent that a function with domain x may be naturally extended to a function whose domain is a set z that is built from x for example, for any set x, its power set p x is the set of all subsets of x any function f, x y, display style f, colon x to y, may be extended to a function on power sets by p x, p y s f s, display style begin align and mathcal p x to mathcal p y and s mapsto f s end aligned where f s is the image by f of the subset s of x according to the definition a function f maps each element from its domain x to some element of its codomain y it is often convenient to extend this meaning to apply to arbitrary subsets of the domain which are as immediately can be checked mapped to subsets of the codomain thus consider Considering a function f tilde, display style tilde f, mapping its domain, the power set p x of f s domain x to its codomain, a subset of the power set p y of f s codomain y. P x p y s f s display style begin aligned mathcal p x to mathcal p y s mapsto f s end aligned under slight abuse of notation this function on subsets is often denoted also by f another example is the following if the function f r s display style f colon r to s is a ring homomorphism, it may be extended to a function on polynomial rings r x s x i equals zero n a i x i i equals zero n f a i x i display style begin aligned r x and to s x sum underscore i equals zero caret n a underscore i x caret i and mapsto sum underscore I equals zero carrot n f a underscore i x carrot i end aligned, which is also a ring homomorphism. Topic: Multi-valued functions. Several methods for specifying functions of real or complex variables start from a local definition of the function at a point or on a neighborhood of a point, and then extend by continuity the function to a much larger domain. Frequently, for a starting point x 0 there are several possible starting values for the function. For example, in defining the square root as the inverse function of the square function, for any positive real number x 0 there are two choices for the value of the square root, one of which is positive and denoted x 0 
display style sqrt x underscore zero and another which is negative and denoted minus x zero display style sqrt x underscore zero these choices define two continuous functions, both having the non-negative real numbers as a domain, and having either the non-negative or the non-positive real numbers as images. When looking at the graphs of these functions, one can see that, together, they form a single smooth curve. It is therefore often useful to consider these two square root functions as a single function that has two values for positive x, one value for zero and no value for negative x. In the preceding example, one choice, the positive square root, is more natural than the other. This is not the case in general. For example, let consider the implicit function that maps y to a root x of x3 minus 3x minus y equals 0 display style x caret 3 minus 3x y equals 0 see the figure on the right. For y equals 0 one may choose either 0, 3, or minus 3 display style 0, sqrt 3, text or sqrt 3 for x. By the implicit function theorem, each choice defines a function. For the first one, the maximal domain is the interval minus two, two, and the image is minus one, one. For the second one, the domain is minus two, infinity, and the image is one, infinity. For the last one, the domain is infinity, two, and the image is infinity minus one. As the three graphs together form a smooth curve, and there is no reason for preferring one choice, these three functions are often considered as a single multi-valued function of y that has three values for minus two usefulness of the concept of multi-valued functions is clearer when considering complex functions, typically analytic functions. The domain to which a complex function may be extended by analytic continuation generally consists of almost the whole complex plane. However, when extending the domain through two different paths, one often gets different values. For example, when extending the domain of the square root function, along a path of complex numbers with positive imaginary parts, one gets i for the square root of minus 1, while, when extending through complex numbers with negative imaginary parts, one gets i. There are generally two ways of solving the problem. One may define a function that is not continuous along some curve, called a branch cut. Such a function is called the principal value of the function. The other way is to consider that one has a multi-valued function, which is analytic everywhere except for isolated singularities, but whose value may jump if one follows a closed loop around a singularity. This jump is called the monodromy. Topic. In foundations of mathematics and set theory The definition of a function that is given in this article requires the concept of set, since the domain and the codomain of a function must be a set. This is not a problem in usual mathematics, as it is generally not difficult to consider only functions whose domain and codomain are sets, which are well defined, even if the domain is not explicitly defined. However, it is sometimes useful to consider more general functions. For example the singleton set may be considered as a function x x display style x mapsto x its domain would include all sets and therefore would not be a set in usual mathematics one avoids this kind of problem by specifying a domain which means that one has many singleton functions however when establishing foundations of mathematics one may have to use functions whose domain codomain or both are not specified, and some authors, often logicians, give precise definition for these weakly specified functions. These generalized functions may be critical in the development of a formalization of foundations of mathematics. 
For example, the von Neumann Bernays Gödel set theory is an extension of the set theory in which the collection of all sets is a class. This theory includes the replacement axiom, which may be interpreted as if x is a set, and f is a function, then f x is a set. In computer science In computer science, functions are callable units of code. For example, the code define square underscore function x return x asterisk x can be called by the expression square underscore function x where x can be replaced for example by numeric literals as in square underscore function 2 or identifiers of other valid input the calling of the unit of code consists in the expression square underscore function x being replaced by the execution of the code inside the function's definition. In the example, it would be replaced by executing the evaluation of the expression x asterisk x. This expression in turn, could be indicating to compute the multiplication of x by itself, in the case of x representing a numeric value. The evaluation would then compute the square of x. The result of this evaluation is called the return value of the function. As in the example, some functions in computer science behave like mathematical functions. The computer science function of the example would normally behave for numerical inputs like the mathematical function f x equals x 2 display style fx equals x caret 2 on the other hand not all functions in computer science behave like mathematical functions functions in computer science could not have a return value the return value could not be unique for a given input as they are required to be for mathematical functions this is due to the execution of the unit of code depending also on the state of the computing machine at the time in which the call is executed. Lambda <laughs> <laughs> calculus <laughs> 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 Relevant to computer science and logic is lambda calculus, which is a formal system based on the abstraction of function application. It is constructed using only variables, anonymous functions, functions without name, like in the arrow notation x x display style x mapsto x, which in addition have only one input. In this system, a lambda lambda display style lambda and dot notation is used instead, giving it its name. For example, x x display style x maps to x would be denoted by lambda x x display style lambda x x instead. Elements of this formal system are called lambda terms, which can be manipulated with a set of transformation rules. The transformation rules are analogous to evaluating an anonymous function, replacing a free variable by some other element of the formal system, and creating new anonymous functions out of other elements of the system by joining them with the lambda display style lambda and dot notation. The system is expressive enough to allow modeling any Turing machine. Topic. See also. Topic. Subpages. Topic. Generalizations <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Topic: Related topics. Equals equals notes. <laughs>